Today we're going to create a ripple effect. We're going to start by creating a new HTML5 canvas. Then import the image you're going to want to use. Once you have your image size to your background the way you want it, you can lock your layer. I'm going to name my layer background. Then I'm going to create a new layer. And I want to copy this exactly. So I'm going to copy the frame from my background layer and I'm going to paste it on layer two, which should rename my layer to background. I'm going to rename that layer to wave. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to convert my bitmap image into a symbol called wave. Then I need to go inside of my symbol so I can either double click on this wave movie clip on my background or I can go into my library and double click on wave there to open it. Either way, instead of being in scene one, I should be inside of my wave. On my wave, I should have one layer with my bitmap image. So I'm going to name this layer picture. I'm going to lock that layer and create a new layer above that call that the wave. To generate my wave, I'm just going to have a rectangle. And I'm going to start with a rectangle. Since this one has a straight water line, I'm going to start with my rectangle being just to where that line is. I'm going to remove my outline because I just need the solid color because I'm going to create a mask on this so you won't see the color that you choose anyway. I'm going to line this up with my water line and then I'm just going to move it over with the arrows so that it's straight across. Then I'm going to use my free transform tool to make this kind of narrow. Then I'm going to create a motion tween on that object. I'm going to stretch this out to about 100, which will give me about four seconds worth of time. So I'm going to have my wave start here, and then it's going to move across. If you hold shift, it will move in a straight line. So I'm going to want it to go straight across, all the way across. And I'm also going to want to make it expand as it goes across. So that way my wave starts off small and ends up large at the end. I'll need to insert a frame on my picture layer so that it exists the entire time. And then I'm going to add a mask to this. So what I actually see is a picture of the background move across the stage. When I go back to scene one, I have my wave on top of my background, but they're in the exact same position. So if I were to run this, I probably will not see anything on the actual animation. We don't see anything moving at all on here. So what I want to do is on my image, go to my wave, might be difficult to select it. There's usually a little dot somewhere where you can click on it to select your wave. And I'm going to want to move the position over. So I'm just going to press right a couple times to move the X coordinate over. And then you'll see the wave move across the screen. As long as we don't move it up or down, it should not affect the horizon because this is just moving all the pixels over a couple to the right as the wave goes across. And then they go back to where they were after the wave passes. And then you'll see as it gets wider as it goes across the screen. So now I'm going to change my wave to wave one. I'm going to make two more layers. I'm going to call them wave two and wave three. Now if I check back, my wave lasted 100 pixels. So my wave one needs to go 100 pixels. So I'm going to insert a frame. I'm going to go ahead and copy those 100 pixels that I'm going to use. That way you don't have to calculate your ending point whenever you paste another wave. And then somewhere on wave two, I'm going to go about half a second, so maybe around frame 12. I'm going to paste and overwrite those frames. And then do the same thing here. 24 would be one second, so paste and over right frames. And now I should have two staggered waves. But if our background is the same length, which is only one, then it's not going to exist while these animations are running. So we'll have this last a little bit longer. Insert frames so that after my waves are done, there'll be a couple seconds of calm before it loops back. And when I run it here, I should have three waves go across the screen. Now that we're finished, we can save our project. I'm going to call this a ripple. Then I'm going to go to my publish settings. Make sure that is in my website animate folder. Hit save. Publish will create my JavaScript file that I need and export my image for use in Dreamweaver. I'm going to swap over to Dreamweaver. My ripple assignment should show up there. Refresh if you need to refresh your file list so that it will show up. Add your HTML to the bottom of your index. Upload your animate folder, 
then this should be visible on your website. We're checking the website now. And everything appears to be working great.